Curiosity Kids, do you know what matter is? Let's go see what we can discover about solid matter. Matter is everything that has weight and takes up space. Everything is made of matter, whether it's a solid, liquid, or gas. Matter is made up of pieces of whatever type of matter it is. For example, let's look at this teacup. It's matter. If I take a hammer and break it into pieces, it's still the same type of matter. It's still a teacup, just in smaller pieces. If we continue dividing these pieces of matter into the smallest pieces possible, called particles. These pieces would be extremely tiny, too small to see with your eyes, a magnifying glass, or even a microscope. Even though we can't see these particles, we know they are there because how these particles move and interact with each other explains what makes matter a solid. All solid matter has three properties. Solid matter has a fixed size and shape. The tiny particles that make up solid matter are in a tight pattern and can't pass one another. Solid matter can't be squished or compressed easily. And solid matter, when added to a container, doesn't fill the container and it doesn't take the shape of the container. Let's look at my teacup again. It is solid matter. The teacup is made up of tiny particles that are fixed together and don't move. Teacups don't change shape. Teacups aren't squishy and they don't flow like the tea in the cup. If I put the teacup into a container, it's still a teacup in a container. It doesn't change its shape to fill the container. These properties are true for rocks, books, trees, and many other things. They are all solid. Let's look at some matter and see if we can decide if it is a solid. Put on your thinking cap. This is Bixby. Bixby is a teddy bear. Bixby's shape and size stays the same all the time, even when he goes through the wash. Bixby is made up of tiny fixed particles that make up his fabric and stuffing. These particles don't flow or change their locations. If I put Bixby in a container, does he fill the container? Does he take the shape of the container? Nope, he's still Bixby. However, if Bixby is a solid, why does he change shape when he gets squeezed by a hug? He changes shape because Bixby is not what is being squeezed. If we look inside Bixby, we can see the particles that make up Bixby and air particles. It's the air between Bixby's particles that is being squeezed or compressed. The fabric and stuffing that make up Bixby doesn't change. All the air inside of him is just squeezed out. Once we stop hugging Bixby, he returns to normal. Bixby is solid. If you want to learn more about states of matter, just head to the museum website at statemuseumpa.org and look for our virtual learning page to find out more about solids, liquids, and gases. Join me again next time to discover something else I'm curious about. Thanks for tuning in.